So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the best practices for beginning a ride for both passengers and drivers to make it the smoothest possible. Hey everyone, Chris here from Real Rideshare Stories. On this channel, we do a lot of different things within the rideshare industry, so if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications. But before we get started, if you have a crazy Uber Lyft experience, whether you're a passenger or a driver, record it, send it my way, and maybe we can feature you on the channel. Say my name, no, say my name, no, say my name. Okay, here's the question. Real quick, pop quiz. Who says, say my name? Is it the driver or is it the passenger? I'll wait, hold on one second. Do, 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 do. Answer is the driver. Sorry, passengers, you do not get to say, say my name. These are going to be the best practices and that's what we're gonna be going over today. The best practices for picking up a passenger and verifying your driver. So let's get started right now. Okay, when the ride is ordered and the, ride, uh, the driver is on his way or just about to get there, you know, passenger, pay attention to the app. Uh, the GPS is often always right. Sometimes there are some flukes in the system and there's issues. Um, but if you see something that's weird, give the driver a call. Shoot him a text, whatever it might be. L figure out what it could be. Um, but yeah, make sure if you notice anything off on the GPS, um, call him just to see what's going on or look out the window or walk out onto the street or where, wherever you are um, and see if your, your ride's there. Um, but 99% of the time, GPS is actually working pretty good and pretty well. Um, so drivers, when you pull up to anywhere, if you can't get to that exact that pin because maybe it's a busy street, maybe it's uh, uh, you're blocking the actual road um, and you have to pull over to, to a side road or pull over to the closest car, um, give your passengers a call and let them know exactly where you are in reference to the pickup location. It's going to be much better for them to find you than to look on the GPS because yes, sometimes the GPS is not accurate. Sometimes it likes to move um, and change different directions, which I've, I'm sure you've all seen it pop up in um, a little bit different spot as it corrects itself. Um, so yeah, that's one thing that you wanna make sure. Um, call your passengers if for some reason you can't get to that exact pickup spot um, and then let them know where you are exactly so they can come find you exactly where you are. Um, but yes, keep your doors locked as a driver until you verify that the passenger getting into your car or at your car is the correct passenger and who you're paired with. All right, so um, passengers, if your ride is there, there's a few things you have at your disposal that you should be verifying every time you get into an Uber or a Lyft. First, you know the make and model of the car. So that's the first giveaway. If you have somebody coming up that drives a Jeep, you should be looking for a Jeep. If you don't know necessarily the make or the model, or I'm sorry, the model of it, um, you know, usually on the side of the car or the rear, it'll have it. But the license plate is usually right there as well too. Um, so you wanna check the plate of the vehicle. You wanna verify that that is the correct plate. Um, and then, you know, you have our name, you have our picture. So you know who you're looking for. If you still feel in any way at uh, um, unsure, call the driver. And if you see us picking up the phone and talking to you, you know it's us. Um, but don't come up to the car and say, say my name. That's not how it works. You have all of our information. You know what's going on. Um, you know what car you're getting into uh, and all of that stuff. Us drivers, on the other hand, uh, we don't know who you are. So yes, when you, as a driver, pull up to the location, um, first of all, if you pull up to the right uh, spot uh, and you don't need to call your passenger to let them know that you're in a different spot, um, that's fine. Uh, but yeah, keep your doors locked. And then if you see somebody looking at your car, it might be your passenger, but guess what? It might also not be. You don't know because what we get as drivers is a name, and a pin to pick you up at. So we don't have any other information. Lyft sometimes has pictures, uh, and that's if you set it up, but here's the thing. If you, if you are using Lyft right now, go onto the app, take a picture of yourself without a filter, and 
let the driver know who's picking you up. It's, it's very good to us for us to be able to see the picture of you in a clear way. Um, so then that way we know who we're looking at, especially in a busy pickup spot, um, whether it's a bar district or an event or a concert um, or something where there's a lot of people um, that really helps out. Um, so yes, make sure you, you have a picture of your face. It's clear. Um, there's no filter on it. There's no dog filter like from Snapchat on it. Uh, there's no, you're, you're not taking pictures of your animals. No, just a nice face picture of you with no filter on it. Um, it's really going to help us. Also, put your real name. Don't put the man or Aphrodite or Diamond unless that's your real name. Um, I've seen no small talk, please. Okay. Um, I think people have seen that on the internet. Uh, that was going around a little bit. Uh, but yeah, see, here's the thing. Use your real name because we don't know who you are. We need to verify it. Um, so yeah, when, uh, you get to the car, uh, driver, roll down your window, keep the doors locked. Um, this is when drivers say, who are you looking for? Or what's your driver's name? Uh, or my personal favorite. And the one that I use all the time is what's the name of who ordered the ride. And the reason why I like that one is because one, I'm getting their name. I also cover my phone. I keep it um, in this near the center console, right next to my steering wheel in the vent. So I also make sure that I cover the phone so that anybody around can't look at it and see, uh, and then say the name. But yeah, I say, what's the name of, uh, the person who ordered the ride? Um, and if they tell me the right name, Hey, that's great. Then I say, Hey, awesome. Uh, my name is Chris. And then it's just that nice little personable, um, thing. So I try to get their name, uh, instead of say, having them say, say my name or something like that. I ask them what's their name, uh, or whoever ordered the ride. Um, because sometimes, yes, there's passengers that come, uh, that aren't the account holders, but they're the ones who are getting the ride. So I always at, usually ask, uh, what's the name of the person who ordered the ride? And also sometimes when I do ask, I'll be like, who are you looking for? They'll usually end up saying their name. I would say probably about eight out of 10 times they say their name. I don't know if it's just the way human or interaction is that most people will say their name over somebody else's name. Um, but yeah, that's usually what happens. So then even when they say their name, I say, okay, great. Hey, nice to meet you. My name is Chris. Um, again, it's just that nice little personal interaction that you can do with somebody, um, when you're driving and it does, uh, help personalize the ride a little bit more. Um, and you know, yeah, tips might not necessarily be, uh, so, uh, associated with that little touch, but your rating will probably, uh, be affected, uh, in a better stance, uh, than just saying nothing at all or something. All right. Um, but passengers, yes, you do not come up to the car and say, say my name. doesn't work like that. If you come up to the car and say, Hey, are you Chris? Sure. Well, at least I know then that. And then I can say, yes, are you Lisa or are you John? And then they can say yes. And then it's, again, it's that nice little personal touch where you're trading names. So it feels a little bit more, um, personal of an interaction. Um, but yeah, uh, the other thing is, uh, passengers, if you want to come up and say, I am, and then say your name, <laughs> Meaning, I am John or I am Lisa. Are you Chris? Okay, that works. That verifies it even more. Now I have more information that I can work off of. Um, but do not come up to the door and say, say my name because you have all of our information. You have, again, you have the plate number. You have the make and model of the car. You have our name. You have the picture of us. And you can call in case you're still unsure. Um, but we, on the other hand, have a pickup pin and a name that may not be true and sometimes pictures, which cannot even be the right picture either. Uh, but yeah, those are a few things and if the best way to do it, um, easiest thing to do, like I say, drivers ask the questions to make sure you verify your passengers, passengers, uh, for safety purposes. Yes. Make sure that that is the correct car make model, uh, license plate, and that the driver looks somewhat like their picture. 
because not everybody looks like their pictures. We all know this. Um, but yes, as long as they look somewhat like their picture and everything else matches, call them if you have any questions and say, I'm not sure if that's you. Uh, I just wanted to double check. Sure, not a problem. That's cool. All right, that's the end of today's video. Hope you guys uh, understood the whole say my name. This That thing needs to end on the passenger side. It's the drivers that say it. Um, so if there's any other questions or anything, comment below, let me know. Uh, have you guys also had any crazy experiences with passengers saying say my name, even though ha they have all of this information at their discretion? And then drivers, if there's anything that uh, you also uh, may recommend to help smooth the ride to get the information um, as a much smoother thing, comment below and let me know. Love to hear what other people do as well. All right, so that's the end of the video. Make sure you subscribe, ring the bell for notifications so you'll be notified all of our upcoming videos. Uh, make sure to smash the like button on this video, please. I would appreciate that. And as always, never drink and drive, always tip your drivers, and we'll see you next time.